Ladies and gentlemen, coming to you live from Shoot Paul, home of original music in Aylesbury, Dream Chaser Entertainment presents Platform to Perform. Your host tonight is the queen of local music, Carol Jenkins, and local musician, Hannah Clapper. Hello, I'm here. I'm lethal with sound. Good evening, Shoot Paul. Do not panic, I am Carol. I'm not the act for this evening. Pensioner to perform is on tomorrow evening. I'll be back with my ukulele and my bus pass, so uh, not to be missed. But my issue, my edition of Shoot, of, of, oh, she says, a platform to perform is called Carol's Fondant Fancy. For the next few weeks, I am going to be showcasing local music and showcasing some biscuits of the past that you might know and love. So tonight, I've got a lethal combination. I've got the amazing Miss Hannah Clapham. But the real star of the evening is the Jammy Dodger. Give it up for the Jammy Dodger. Now, is it me or have Jammy Dodgers got smaller or have I got bigger? Discuss. Anyway, we have got a packed night for you. Not just Hannah Clapham, we've got the fantastic Brahmas covers band in the house. Big round of applause. And not to him embarrass him, but our star Denzel also makes lovely sandwiches. He's a bit of a chef. So we'll be talking to Denzel a bit later about that, hopefully. But without further ado, the star of the evening, the lady herself, Miss Hannah Clapham. <laughs> Hannah. to the acoustic sensation that is Lady Hannah Clapham. Now, Hannah, I've not just got jammy dodgers for you because a little bird tells me you are a chocoholic. So, girls, don't get too excited in the audience. I think I might have broken the stipulations of Sue's licence here. I've brought in some contraband. I've brought in the chocolate jammy dodger. That's amazing. So, Hannah and I will be sitting down and having a bit... I'm glad you get excited. Having a bit of a chat... And you might be playing for us a bit later. Now, she's called Hannah Clapped Out today, not Hannah Clapham, because she's got a cold. I have. Oh, this is... She's got a microphone now. I have. So how are you feeling, Chuck? I'm not the best, but, you know, no. I've, got, I've taken all the throat sweets I possibly can. Okay, well, you did your sound check earlier, and you're still sounding amazing, <laughs> even though you're ill. Thank you. Now, when you wake up in the morning, do you actually think to yourself, I'm the acoustic singing sensation that's Hannah Clapham? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think, how am I going to get myself out of bed? <laughs> Where's the cup of tea? <laughs> <laughs> well, we have got the entourage in the audience. Mm -hmm. We've got mum, dad, and the lovely boyfriend, George, who's apparently had a haircut. Mm. He's hiding <laughs> behind the post. <laughs> but before we start, George, I've got some bad news for you. Hannah was talking in the toilets earlier about her other man. <laughs> George, can you come up, please? I need to break it to you. She, big round of applause for our George. She was telling me all about Eddie, about how she strokes him and she tickles his chin and that he's the love of her life. How do you feel? I can't be dealing with that, Hannah. <laughs> Hannah, would you like to exclusively reveal just who is Eddie? He's my dog. Uh, yeah, he's lovely. So he's, he's no threat to our George? Uh... You know, oh. you know. <laughs> I wouldn't say not at all, but... Now, we have proud mum and dad in the audience. Yep. So how old were you when you first started to sing, when you first knew that you had a talent? Because I'm still waiting for it. It's not come yet. Um, so I'm kind of ever hopeful. But uh, how old were you? I don't know when I started to sing. I got my first guitar when I was about nine, I think. And then the two just kind of came together, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. And you started at nine? I think I was nine. I, got, I asked for a guitar for Christmas. And, um, uh, and I, she got, I got Connect Four, so I guess it was delayed her for five years. Um, no, and then I, I remember sitting there, and I had it in my arms, and then I was like, 
Oh, yeah, I don't really know what to do with it now. And I was this massive disappointment that I suddenly didn't know how to play. But Story of my um, life, love. Yeah. Story of my life. I started playing, I started singing and playing with my sister to start with, just in my room. And then, yeah, it just kind of went from there. Well, she's very modest. She says it kind of went from there, but she's been playing on BBC Radio Oxford. You've been doing the rounds, so you are a busy girl. So how does it feel to be out there and playing your music to the masses? Yeah, it's, it's nerve-wracking. I still struggle to get the confidence to play my own songs over covers. But, um, no, it is great. And I've had things kind of come out of nowhere. And so it, it can be quite demoralising that nothing happens for a while. And then suddenly things like Radio Oxford happen. And I was, um, yeah, so it is great. It's just kind of got to keep hoping something's going to come around the corner. She's too modest. She, I, I want <laughs> this girl to have more of an ego. She's very down to her. She's very modest, but she's a real singing sen sensation. But we know this evening that you're not feeling too well. Not. Please excuse so me. So we yeah. thought we'd have a few songs and a bit of chat before the Brahma's cover band this evening. So what's your first song? What would you like to play uh, for My us? first song is called Forget They're Watching. It's one of my songs. Um, yeah, I, I, it's hard to explain what it's about. Um, and I've had a few people tell me what they think it's about and it's always shocked me because it's never what I originally planned it to be about. So um, I don't like to like, explain it too much because then it, I feel like then people can take what they can from it. And Fantastic. We're going to welcome Hannah to play Forget They're Watching and then we're going to go out into the audience afterwards and um, get a few questions from the audience for you. So without further ado, I'd like to welcome the lady herself, Miss Hannah Clapham for her first song. I try to live as if 
they never hurt me And I still love him Like he's still here on earth So if you can accept I don't know where I'm going Then dance with me Like no one's watching Who really knows where they're going? Or so dance and forget they're watching. Thank you. Amazing, Miss Hannah Clapham. Now, you said you were ill, but you still sounded fantastic. How was it for you, playing on platform to perform at Shoot Ball? Amazing. Incredible. <laughs> it's good. Now, I'm very keen to find out a bit more about the lady that is Hannah Clapham. Okay. Um, and I'm going to attempt to go out in the audience without killing myself or <laughs> someone else. But this microphone doesn't go very far. Glamorous assistant. I'm just going to help Hannah. <laughs> okay. what, what, I want to... Yes, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. The first time I ever get to turn her off. <laughs> She's back. Excellent. Right, we're going to go out into the audience with a few jammy dodgers and get some questions for our Hannah. Now, this lovely young gentleman here, would you like a jammy dodger? Um, what's your first question for Hannah? Well, I was just wondering, uh, for some time I've been wondering, really, is, um, Hannah, when are you going to tidy your room? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to mention this is Dad, and apparently Hannah... Oh, she's dropping the c biscuits. <laughs> Hannah's room is quite messy, so Hannah, what have you got to say about that? I know where everything is. Um, they don't, but, yeah, I'll work on it. It's, it has yes. reached a point now where it's ridiculous. Does it get ridiculous? Is it the tights on the floor? Or <laughs> the, yes. <laughs> I don't even know what's on there anymore, to be honest. Scandal. We're going to ask these gentlemen here. Would you like a jammy judge, sir? Oh, we would. Does. Excellent. Have a bicking. Not the one that fell on the floor. No. Obviously, are you in health and safety by any chance? Uh, I, I, on a yeah, biscuits. Yeah, biscuits. yeah, yeah. Biscuit mate. Now, what's your name, young sir? Uh, Peter. Peter. Have you got um, a burning question for Hannah before you eat your bicky? Uh, has she ever thought playing with a full band? What, like the Brahmas covers band? <laughs> Have you ever thought about playing I with a full to, band? Yeah, I'd love to see what like what my sound, my songs can sound like with the things, um, other things going on. Yeah, I yeah, would love to. I just don't have, I don't know the people. I've, George plays the cajon for me sometimes, which is the closest to a full band that we've got so far. Ah. Um, but no, yeah, I would love to know what it sounds like. So we could be touting for musicians. Not there's any in here. <laughs> I'm not looking around at any, am I? This oh, this young lady here. Would you like a biscuit? Um, oh, <laughs> what question have you got for our Hannah? I've only just walked in, so I just like to listen to her. I, li I like to sort of keep you on your toes. <laughs> I'm hoping she's as good as I think she is. <laughs> and are you as good as she thinks you are? Um, I hope so as well. <laughs> Thank you. She sounded Thank good you. outside, but that's always a good start. <laughs> now, your muffled. second song, Hannah, what can we come to expect? Now, your songs are very lilting and lovely and quite... Emotional, and I saw you looking over at George there, <laughs> lovingly, or was that just an annoying look? <laughs> <laughs> not a joke, not a joke. Um, my next song's a cover, actually. Um, it's of Heya by Outcast. Oh, this it's is good, I've heard this before. <laughs> now, that's quite ambitious it, yeah. to, to cover such a song. How did that come about? Um, it came about, somebody asked me to cover it, actually. I think George might have suggested it, and then it's such a fast, up-paced, upbeat song that I just yeah. kind of spun it on its head a little bit and did this with it. Okay. This is the amazing Miss Hannah Clapham on platform to perform, giving us her version of Hey Ya by Outcast. Are you on? Yeah, thank you. Rock 
Baby, don't mess around because she loves me so. I know for sure. But does she really want to but can't stand to see me walk out the door? Now don't try to fight that feeling The thought alone is killing me right now Now thank God for mom and dad for sticking two together We don't know how So hey, yeah You got it, oh, you think you got it, oh, well, got it, just don't get it till there's nothing at all. We get together, oh, we get together, well, separate's always better when there's feelings involved. And now they say nothing lasts forever than what makes. What makes love an exception? So why are you? Why are you in denial if you know you're not happy? Hey, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. So don't try to fight that feeling Being alone is killing me right now well, Thank God for mom and dad for sticking two together Now we know how so hey, yeah. oh hey, yeah. oh hey, yeah. oh hey, yeah. Stop romancing your girlfriend and get back on the job, you. <laughs> what did we think of her version of Hey Ya? I'm going to ask our lady here, was she as good as you thought she was? Brilliant, lovely. You were brilliant, lovely, Hannah. Is that nice? Thank you, thank you very much. I'm going to invite you to have a little seat now, because I know you're very poorly. Me. I'll sit there. Oh. And you sit there and I'll sit here, and we'll have a bit more of a chat about uh, you and your life. Okay. And it's very off-putting. There's a lovely, handsome young man <laughs> that's filming us here, and I'm just trying to not be in shot, which is not, <laughs> not great. So you've been busy doing lots of work, but also you are planning a big trip. Tell us more about your trip yeah, across go, the world with your glamorous boyfriend. Going around Europe um, in a couple of months' time. Yep, where are you going? We're going to Turkey and Greece, Switzerland, Italy and France. And I'm sure that's not all in one day. No, <laughs> no, no, no. Just in about a month. About a, month. about a month. Will you be playing aboard? Will you be? I would love to. I would love to, but I'm, I'm not sure I could manage carrying my guitar, yeah. and I'm not sure George would want to. But carry that's what boyfriends for, for, isn't it? <laughs> no other use. Always looking sheepish behind the pillar there. <laughs> I might end up buying one out there. <laughs> you could do, couldn't you? Excellent. Now you said you were um, a bit ill with your voice. How much care do you take of your voice? Are you a good girl? You're not a 50 fags a day girl. No, 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 not at all. <laughs> I, um, <laughs> I, I don't. Quite a few musicians who are. Yeah, I, I, I don't actually know how to properly like look after my voice. I don't know how to warm up. I don't. I've never really done anything like that. So I, I don't. Probably in terms of singing, I don't look after it very well. Just through lack that's of knowledge. It's a, a revelation, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> okay. Um, if you could tell us one fact about yourself that we would be quite shocked to know, apart from your messy bedroom, what would it be? 
Oh, I, I don't know. Um, see, I'm trying to get a bit of scandal. And there's no scandal. You're a clean not living girl, are you? In life. <laughs> I don't. I'm not sure. Um, I don't know. What I, I'll, I'll, I'll know. tell you anything. I just. She just just make it up for my own pleasure. <laughs> um, I'm just nothing. Here. I She's don't clean know. living. She's never oh. going to be on the front page of the Daily Star <laughs> at this rate. <gasps> now your third song. What have you got for us? Um, this is one of my own songs. It's called Maybe It's You, uh, which is quite an old song I wrote actually yeah. quite a while ago. Um, which I haven't performed in a long time. And is it the romantic one that we've been it's hearing quite about? A romantic one. I don't know which one you have been hearing about. Um, uh, it's, it's, I guess it is quite a It's about kind of seeing something that you didn't really see before. Okay. So, yeah. Is it written about anyone in particular? Or? <laughs> Might be written. <laughs> Eddie the dog. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's definitely about Eddie, okay. yeah. Now, the voice is bearing up okay? We can get Just a third about, song yeah. out of you? I sound, yeah, I sound quite manly, don't I? You actually quite, <laughs> sound quite manly, aren't you? Um, one of the funny things is whenever I interview you, I always say that you sound like a particular singer and you've never heard of any of the singers that I mentioned because they're also elderly. So do you remember the last time I said to you, you sound like Tori Amos? Mm -hmm. And you said, who's she? I did, I did say thank you. So. <laughs> Have you heard of Vera Lynn at all? Or? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll stick with that one. Ladies and gentlemen, I have great pleasure in welcoming the amazing Miss Hannah Clapham back for a third song here on Platform to Perform. Take it away. Thank you. How 
much are we loving Hannah this evening? You are doing well, girl. I managed to get through them all. Now, you've got a rather persistent roadie over there. A lady who's also mum, yeah. and she's told me, get her to plug all her Facebook and all her things. So <laughs> yeah, if we she's want like to, my manager. She's I love your mother. She's everything. <laughs> if we want to find out more about you, yeah. where can we find uh, out more? Facebook, Hannah Clapham, singer-songwriter, uh, yeah. YouTube, Twitter, all, the, all of them. Dream Chaser Entertainment, of course. Yeah. Um, so I've now been in the building about an hour, and it's the first time he's mentioned Dream Chaser. So you're doing well, Paul. <laughs> Second time. Okay. <laughs> So you're, we're all part of his dream chaser mafia as well, are you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, just a line about next week's platform to perform, and it's Kitty. It's not Hello Kitty, it's not a cat. No, it's another lovely singer-songwriter. Fantastic. So Kitty will be live here next week from 9 o'clock. But before we go back to Hannah, we're going to have a bit of a chat with our live band tonight. Um, now, I understand you're a troop of... Um, she's, uh, this is as far as I go, my wire goes. I understand you're a troop of strippers. Secret strippers. Is it true you, you strip on stage? No, I do not. I'm, I'm, I'm going home then, let's forget it. You gave me that information, it's untrue. But all of us have not seen you. I've only seen you making sandwiches in your day job. So how would you describe yourself? You're a bit of a sort of imagination, a bit of a Lee John? Well, by day, I'm a second chef. By night, I'm a bit of a, a rock singer, God. helped by my crew, the rest of the band, the Brahmas, Peter, Richard, and John. Now we give it up to Peter, Richard, John. We are loving these three. Now I hope you two don't mind me saying, but you look like real hard-living rock stars. Is this true? Tell us more. You particularly, sir, you look good. And, I'm, and again, I've only got half a wire, but I'm, I'm straining to get to the audience, but they're stopping. Yeah, I've been playing guitar since um, the year dot and been in bands since I was 11. And uh, just play gigs and pub bands and for forever, basically. So you've been playing in bands since you were 11, so what, 15 years ago? A little bit more. A little bit more. You love playing at Shoot Pool, though, I hear. What is so amazing about our Shoot Pool audience? Uh, Shoot Pool audience is absolutely massive. We, we played uh, New Year's Eve this year. We played for four hours and fell over. <laughs> and the audience stayed with us every single step of the way. It was absolutely awesome. Um, one of the things about Shoot Paul also is that uh, Sue and the crew just absolutely know how to look after people, and hence the, the community that's building up around Shoot Paul. Absolutely awesome. Fantastic. Well, our band will be on live at 10.30, so we're looking forward to that. But back to Hannah. So, Hannah, what have you got lined up over the next few months? Because I know you're very busy touring and doing lots. So, um, what else have you got, apart from swanning across Europe? Yeah. Um, where um, else can we see you play live? Because uh, you are a fabulous <laughs> live act. I don't want you to join a band. You're too good. <laughs> you need to be on your own. Thank so, you. where can we see you? Um, well, I'm playing tomorrow in Oxford at the Folk Weekend. Um, and then I've got my own gig I'm setting up on the 10th of May to raise money for cancer research and a hospice up in Yorkshire that my granddad was looked after at. Um, and I've got my guitar teacher coming along to play, and that's in Marsh Gibbon near Bista, which all the information for that is on Facebook. Um, it should be just a really fun, fun night, raise as much money as possible. Fantastic. Now, I hear also you're a bit of a busker, and that, I would just hate busking. <laughs> Do you get any, any sort of abuse, I or how, I how does that, that work? Twice. No, I haven't had abuse yet, um, but it's, it's great fun. If, I mean, if you mess up, people just, they're gone, they've walked on by, they forget you. Um, See, that would kill me, that would kill my <laughs> ego. How, how, do you, how do you cope with that? I'd be like, come on back. I'm not finished murdering. It can get quite demoralising, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, it is good fun, good fun though, yeah. yeah. Okay. Have you had any weird requests for songs that you've thought, oh, that's a bit... I haven't actually. Um, well, with songs like Hey, I, I, when someone asked me to do that, I was a bit like, I wanted to give it a try. Um, but I just try and I don't I don't I don't want to copy things because yeah. But no, it's good. Well, that's the secret to a good cover, though, isn't it? Choosing something that's totally out of your your <laughs> yeah, genre. She's so. asking a serious question for once. I must snap out of that. Um, <coughs> and then making your own, and you yeah. certainly did that. <laughs> Thank you. Is, is, is the gin finished yet? Or we still? I've just like had my last. Is it hot, hot water and honey. Oh, I don't believe her. <laughs> <laughs> 
humour. Too good to you other true. things mixed in there. <laughs> this is just a facade of lies. You watch the Sunday papers tomorrow, it'll all be coming out. <laughs> so you've got lots of gigs coming up. Um, when are you back here at Shoot Paul? Because I know you're a regular, aren't you? I think I'm back in September. The 6th of September. That's, that's my birthday. 6th September. Private birthday party. There you go. Fantastic. <laughs> um, have you got one more song in you or don't you think your voice will hold out? I'm not sh- I, I've got one. I'm, I'm going to try one song. A teeny tiny I've one. I've literally just yeah. finished it today. I've never done it Ooh. before and I just thought why not give it a try. An exclusive. It could go horribly, horribly wrong. Do we want a final song from our Hannah? Yes. Well, the audience loves you, and we'd love to hear a final song from you. So what's the title? I'm intrigued if you've written it today. Yeah, that's... I don't... um, I think I'm going to call it Wake Me Up. Wake Me Up. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Changed, I'm still the same. Another year, and I'm still in the same place. I can't lay in this bed, it's only partly made. Yes, so nothing's changed, so don't take my advice. I haven't felt Solid ground for quite some time Yeah, my body tears itself apart Head or heart Oh, come and live in my head And tell me if I should be scared Hit me with something Hit me right in my chest Come and live in my head and tell me how to be brave Hit me with something and lie in the bed that I've made Wake me up, cause I've had enough See, I'm just trying to stay afloat Drowning in everything I've decided to know If I save her memories Then I save his life So I choose my mind So come and live in my head And tell me if I should be scared Come hit me with something Hit me right in my chest yeah, Come and live in my head And tell me how to be brave Hit me with something And lie in the bed that I've made Can you decide How to live your life When your heart puts up a fight I got a lump in my throat and words on a line Yeah, my mind's playing tricks and I don't know where to start So I choose my heart So come and live in my head and tell me if I should be scared Come on, hit me with something Come and live in my head and tell me how to be brave Hit me with something and lie in the bed that I've made So give me a reason and I'll find something to show Got nothing to run from but everywhere to go
a true star you are. <laughs> Wasn't that an amazing performance? I knocked up a shopping list earlier today and she knocked up a hit. <laughs> It's been a total pleasure Thank you, you so play. much. And thanks for coming because you've been really poorly, but you still sound amazing. Thank you very much. A big me. round of applause for our star for platform to Thank perform, you. Hannah Clapham. Thank you. Well, that's all we've got time for this evening. Thank you for being a lovely audience and making me feel so welcome. Now, I'm going to go off and have a cold shower before the, uh, the strippers arrive. Um, <laughs> the Brahma's covers band takes over at 10.30. Um, but I hope you all have a good evening, folks. You. Yeah, maybe it's you Or maybe I can't see What's in front of me Singing, it's too.